Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Super Time Force Ultra. Um, this game's fun. It really is. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, I've got a little bit left, so uh, down the hatch. Let's do this. I still have more. It's like a lamp of oil that never burns out. It's amazing, but here we go. Uh... We're going to go ahead and resume back into this, so uh, here we go. Start off is Jean Rambois. So I'm having to chase down uh, Commander Rapinski's daughter, who he's not going to tell me who he had a daughter with, uh, but her name turns out to be Cleo. She was born in 96 BC. Ooh! Grab that glorp! I got the glorp! And did I just save myself from dying? I did! You can save yourself from dying! Nope! Not there, though. That, nope! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's cool! I didn't know that! Like, ever! F word! Ooh! 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 Oh, there's another fart. I mean, lookers. Ah. No, I'm gonna die! <laughs> There's a Glorb. Oh! Holy smokes! I honestly did not think I'd be able to dodge that dynamite. Melanie Gibson. Okay, it was a Mad Max reference because clearly Melanie Gibson. That's pretty funny. Melanie Gibson, man. You got Melanie Gibson, Jean Rambois. Uh, Jeff Leopard, this is great. Oh, I walked right into that one. Uh, where's Amy? What is she? She has a boomerang, it looks like. Oh, I seriously doubt it is, but wouldn't it be funny if it was like a reference to Captain Boomerang, who's Australian, as well as Mel Gibson? Captain Whoa! Captain Boomerang is of course from the DC universe, so I doubt it, but maybe. Oh come on, I thought I was still firing. I wanna do right here and let's get the No! Oh, it's a shotgun! Totally did not know that was a shotgun. Grab myself a glorb. Grab myself a glorb. Nothing's over here. Alright, so, time out, and I'm not going to be able to save this life. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... Do those count as... Oh, they are... They do count as Glorb's already gotten. So I can rewind it all the way back to... 
here and select this guy and just do this. Whoa! Okay, uh, but I do not want to... I want to have Amy McKillerson here. Sort of like Terror to have... Okay. Hey, Amy, uh, maybe you shouldn't get next to that barrel, huh? Oh! Totally thought I had more time. I know what you're thinking. Uh, you didn't. And again, I know. Because I died. No need to tell me. No! Get out of there! Oh, come on! Who just killed? Uh, it was right, right here when I struggled with it. Nope, get down! What? Oh my gosh. I thought I was totally on the stairs already. Alright, so I'm right here. Nope. I need to be right here and jump. No! And then just... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, yeah, let me do this guy. Just jump on the ladder, charge up my shot. Well, that's not good. What? Oh, you punk, dude. You freaking punk. Oh my gosh! I just wasted that. Nope, what I can do is do this. Start here. Save up. Shoot up. Come over here. Jump out of his way. I'm supposed to go that way? N oh! No, it's a team up! Eight, seven, six, no! We are the lookers. Oh, that's not good at all. No! How in the heck did the Blunderbots and their dorks leader not stay dead? Does God like him more than me or something? The good news is that I've locked onto their unique Blunderbot heat signature and set up a time space scan to track down their mothership. I don't care if they're hiding in the Milky Way or in Milwaukee in the late 1970s. I'll find them. In the meantime, we'll stick to our super awesome plan of traveling through time and monkeying around with stuff. <laughs> oh, you died. I had no... I had no... While you guys are blowing stuff up, I nabbed one of the locals and asked what happened to Earth. The primitive fool just babbled some nonsense about Shuba Chop Jill Force. Which was a relief because I was starting to worry this is all our, far, all, all our fault somehow. Now, go and get my Cleo. We'll fix the 90s later. Or just like, um, you nev never come back. It, it totally smells here. I did not think I had enough time, but apparently that zip line is free. So, hey, that's good. Uh, I found all three lookers. That's good, too. 7 out of 10 glorbs. Took me two minutes. That's good. Good! <laughs> Melanie Gibson is unlocked. Yeah, it's a shotgun, clearly, in that picture, but it looks like... Oh, I guess it's like a... Uh, what are those called? I don't know. You gotta load them in. You pop the top, and it bends like a bow and arrow angled not bow and arrow but that's that might be why it looks like it's a bow and arrow uh yeah what are those called anyways 
This is starting to feel like a babysitting job that has turned into an adventure, if you know what I mean. These yahoos are headed someplace called Thunderdome to watch some bloody mortal combat. I don't want my precious daughter in a place like that. See? It looks like a bo uh, boomerang, but it's clearly like it's broken and half freaking loaded double barrel shotgun. Um. Anyways, that concludes this episode of Super Time Force Ultra. So until next time, have a good one and take care.